So how do you handle negative thoughts? You know, a lot of people have thoughts on their mind that are frightening, that are scary. These thoughts uh, tend to imagine or say the worst. They tend to threaten you, right? Um, you're not alone. Everybody has, uh, at one point or the other, experienced these thoughts. So how does one deal with them? How does one get rid of them? Because if you um, acknowledge these thoughts or if you go against these thoughts, um, they get they get stronger. And if you ignore these thoughts, they get stronger. So how does one suppress or get rid of them? First, let's go over a few things to understand so we can stop these thoughts. Number one, understand that your mind, your body, your thoughts are not the real you. They are part of you, or in actual fact, you allow these thoughts to exist. If the real you was not present, these thoughts could not exist. These thoughts come from past lives, from trauma and from um, experiences, but they're not, they don't belong to you. However, the human uh, condition or human beings have been conditioned to um, take these thoughts as real. You know, you're, you're always told that you know, your thoughts are in your brain, etc. But there's no evidence of this, obviously. But in a spiritual point of view, um, thoughts are not yours. Okay, If you were to write down your thoughts, you would think you are a mad person. Um, they don't belong to you, so you do not need to take ownership of them. So the first way of stopping thoughts is to understand that they are not real. They don't exist. You can't hold them. You can't touch them. They have no power whatsoever. The only power they have is if you give to them. And number two, understand that um, the thoughts don't belong to you. So therefore, they are much like clouds that pass by. And clouds won't, will keep, continue passing by if you allow them to. However, the clouds stop when you hold on or fix, fix your attention to them. So where your attention goes, the, you give life or power to the thoughts. So number one, thoughts are not real. Number two, thoughts don't belong to you. Because you're not your thoughts, you're not your body, you're not your, your mind. Okay? You are something far greater. We call it the self. The self allows these things to exist. Um, that's why when you sleep, you go, you go to bed and you sleep, um, the whole world disappears, right? That um, your awareness allows these things to exist. So without your awareness, thoughts can exist. So thoughts um, are not real, that's the point is, okay? And you have to practice this. You have to sit down and meditate and, and practice it as you would, like if you were studying for something. If you were trying to study for an exam and someone told you the thoughts are not real, um, you would sit down and contemplate why the thoughts are not real. So you study it that way, you meditate on that. Number two, if the thoughts are too strong and too overpowering, I learned this from a very uh, wise person, okay? Actually, it was my father. He used to have um, a lot of thoughts, um, negative thoughts um, um, as a child, and it got so bad that I used to cry. And my father once told me that, you know, tell your thoughts um, to do what they want to do, and they should leave you alone. Um, or, and or surrender, surrender when you say like do whatever you need to do um, you can say um, I surrender my thoughts to my uh, any divinity or any divine uh, thing you may may pray to so you're surrendering the thoughts to the to the person uh, your guru or your god okay or something that you devote your 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 time to or your spirit to um, this will cut the cut the thoughts down so you, because you take the thoughts as true they chase you the thoughts chase you and it gets stronger and stronger and stronger. But if you understand that the thoughts are not real, the first rule, thoughts are not real. And number two, that you tell the, the thoughts, if it's still bothering you, that um, they can take a hike uh, because, um, or they can do their worst because you don't believe in them, then they also go away. So these two strategies you use, you get faster results if you spend 10 to 15 minutes every single day meditating on the on I am. I am is your awareness, is the first, uh, is, is true knowledge. It's knowledge, but it's true knowledge. And if you focus on the I amness, and you, you, I am means you focus on nothing but your existence, basically. Um, so you keep on saying I am. You can repeat it, but try and focus on the word I am. And any thought that comes in between or tries to tell you what I am is, is not real and therefore should be ignored. But the focus of the I amness will get you quiet. And then you study the, the idea, the concept that you're not the body, you're not the mind. And this will make it very strong. When the body recognizes, when the mind recognizes, that is not real, it's going to get weaker and weaker and weaker. And eventually, if you do it properly and well enough, it will leave you alone. You will have moments, a large, large moment of no thoughts. And your mind will be at peace. And you have to experience this to, to understand it. But this is how you do it. So step number one, you're going to understand that thoughts are not real. Um, in fact, your body and mind are not real. Very simple way of testing. When you go to sleep, from your experience point of view, not from the fact that someone else can see you sleeping. Um, the world doesn't exist as far as you are concerned, okay? 
And when you wake up, the world appears. So your awareness is essentially what makes the world, your world, okay? And number two, if your thoughts are too strong or too overpowering, you can, you can tell them to take a hike um, and that they can do their worst because you believe that nothing is, is, not, is not real and that your guru or your, um, your God or your anything you pray to is going to um, stand by you. Okay, and that's it. And you do this and watch how your thoughts get weaker and weaker and how yourself, your true self shines as a true beautiful um, thing it is.